Hello everyone and welcome to the second Christmas card in my series. I'm using um, Memento Tuxedo Black Ink to stamp a cheeky Xmas hair on some Copic quality paper and coloring her face, her skin, excuse me, with E000, E00, and E02, which are my go-to skin colors at the moment, uh, just because I know how they turn out. <laughs> um, I want to apologize if I I'm talking too fast. I'm still trying to get the hang of putting the information in the video and keeping it kind of in line with everything else. So I'm also using R20 for her cheeks and then I just take my E000 and blend it out just a little bit. I also go over her eyelids since her eyes are closed with with the um, R29 as well. Excuse me, R20 as well just to give her just a little bit of color in there. I wanted her to be as natural as possible, but I wanted to be just a little bit of color. So I'm just putting the shadows in. Um, there is no real light focal point in any of my cards, um, just because I haven't quite got the hang of that yet. So um, there's shadows where I feel there should be shadows and where there shouldn't. I'm now going to take my uh, oops, sorry, my E21, E23, and E25 for her hair. Um, I'm actually using E000 for the highlighted parts uh, as just kind of a base. And her hair was supposed to be a little bit darker than what it turns out, but I actually, I really, when I was done coloring this, I really like the color. So um, to me, this comes out as a, not quite a, a light brunette, but not quite but a little almost too dark to be a dirty blonde so she's kind of somewhere in between but I thought for her and with the co the other colors in the card I thought that this this hair color looked at, uh, worked really well so I just started out with uh, E21 and now I'm going over that with E23 and to follow that will be E25 um, and then for myself I prefer to go back over with my lightest shade unless there's a ton of hair and I can get away with a bigger highlighted area but since her areas were a little bit smaller I decided not to go back with you know go from light to dark and then dark to light I just went straight back to the light at the end and I work in sections just cuz I'm still new at this so but like I said her hair turned out really nice really nice and I wanted to paper pierce, um, not pierce, paper piece her outfit, but I couldn't find any paper, so um, I just went ahead and colored her completely with my Copics. I'm going to be using um, R24 and R29 for her hat and dress. Um, for me, those are the darkest reds that I want without going too dark. Um, and then as you can see I put all the caps up at the top so that you could read them so that I wouldn't necessarily have to remember what I used but now that I'm doing this voiceover I realize that you can't read them so I'm gonna continue to just share them. So I decided to just lay a really good base down of the R24 um, and then going over most of that with R29 just so that it's much darker and then when it goes down I can still blend it out but it blends out to a much lighter shade um, and for me I think even though to me in the image it looks flat to me it still gives it a little bit of a lift and then I did the same thing with her dress, just dark right where it needed to be and then went back over with the red. Along with her shoes, but I could have gotten away with one color maybe. She had such tiny little shoes. So I'm going to take my standard circle small, the largest one in the set, um, to cut her out after I put a little bit of shadow down because there's too much white under her legs. So I just used my C1 to give her a little bit of shadow underneath her hair and her legs and then my colorless blender to blend them out. And I'm just going to use my Grand Caliber hair off to the side 
to cut that out. Um, the paper that I colored her on is just Copic paper. Um, I, I'm not sure what, sorry, I was looking to see if I could find it and I can't find it, so I'm not exactly sure what brand it is. Um, this is just red cardstock from my stash. Uh, it's Recollections. I got it from Michael's. And this green and white is from the greeting farms that I got that I showed in my haul. Um, and it's all just cut down to about five, five it's a five by five card, um, but I'm not exactly sure what size I cut down the green to. I'm not very good with measurements. I just kind of eyeballed everything. And I wanted to keep it um, a uniform border all the way around, so I put two rows of dots in between each of these blue panels, which is from the Blue Christmas Recollections collection that I got last year. And same thing here on the inside. I wanted the blue so that there's just a little bit of color besides just the white, red, and green. Um, so I'm just trimming that because I kind of goofed on it. And I'm trying to straighten out the card here because it threw off the fold. And I'm taking that same blue card after I put this green one down and stamping my sentiment from Amy R's uh, A Happy Christmas collection, stamp set, excuse me. Um, and I'm just using Red Rocket Brilliance ink. Um, I, for her, I put her on a, another cutout of white paper and I just inked her up and had to stamp her three or four times to get her to the lightest shade, but I wanted the red in there. Um, it was a very juicy ink pad. Oh, I took my corner chomper and rounded the edges of the sentiment. Here I'm just using my um, Liquid Pearls White Opal. For her hat, her uh, muff, and the scarf and pot puff of her dress, the white parts of her dress, um, and I'm using my paintbrush to give her texture. But this way I'm also not going over and there's not a whole bunch. I didn't have to wait a long time for it to dry. Um, which you'll see in the cards. It's You should be able to see the texture and the shimmer um, in two separate cards. But I think this just worked out nice because I was able to really fine tune where it got. And that's it. So thanks so much for joining me. And I hope you have a fabulous holiday. Happy crafting.